We all know this feeling. This feeling of emptiness after coming back from an amazing vacation. As fast as the trip seemed to pass by, as fast we slip back into our daily life, missing the feeling of excitement and uncertainty, leaving us with the feeling of sadness and incompleteness. But shouldn't we rather be happy and thankful for having experienced such a wonderful time and try to revive all those unforgettable memories inside of us? I still can't believe how beautiful this hike onto Lion's Head was. The view we've got over the whole city while hiking around the mountain and the sunset we saw will be forever one of my favorite moments of Cape Town. And then there was Miller's Point, a secret spot locals recommended, and man they were not wrong. Surrounded by breathtaking mountains, we experienced a wonderful sunrise. Oh, and we also found one of Cape Town's most beautiful tidal pools. I highly recommend taking a dip in this one. And here I was able to see one of Earth's cutest animals up close, at Boulder's Beach. I mean, look at them, they are so beautiful. This must be my favorite coast drive so far. The ocean, the mountains and the sunset, everything here was just insane. And the lookout spot was the perfect place to soak it all in. Here is my first little safari at Cape Point National Park. This was so cool. The nature and the fact that the two oceans were splashing together here was something totally new for me and something I've never seen before. My favorite moment by far were the baboons, which stopped our car on the way back and started to enjoy themselves around the road. Oh, and that's not it for Cape Town National Park. Surprisingly, they also have an ostrich farm here. And I, of course, didn't know what an ostrich is. So my girlfriend decided to give me a little surprise. Hearing of Cape Town, I've always had to think about its famous Table Mountain, but I've never thought that one day I actually have the chance to hike it up myself. We chose the way through Skeleton Gorge, which gave us the chance to experience the two huge dams which are located on top of the mountain, and even take a dip in it. I highly can recommend this route. We continued our way through Echo Valley, which name is actually not too far fetched. What? What? This was a pretty long and exhausting hike, but a hike I will never forget and always remember. But it's also good to know that there's a cable card option for the way down. Ha, 
I remember this activity really good. My first time subbing and man, I've landed in the water after only being on the board for around 30 seconds. But paddling through water from Cape Town was a really amazing activity, not so many people talk about. It really was perfectly made for a super fun afternoon. I'm usually not a big fan of botanic gardens, but this one was something special. Ah, Dyer's Beach, more than underrated spot in Cape Town. This picture-perfect beach, which is engraved into a beautiful landscape, was completely empty. I mean, how is this even possible? I've just wished the waves wouldn't have been that high that day. This must be one of the coolest coffee shops I've ever seen so far. Not only was it a super calming and relaxing atmosphere, the food was also fantastic. And the actual reason this place stood out to me was the possibility to paint your own mugs, cups, bowls and many more things. Definitely was a ton of fun and made for a great relaxing day. Wow, this image really gives me goosebumps. The bike ride from Sea Point towards Camps Bay was already great and a ton of fun. But as we finally reached Camps Bay, the weather finally decided to clear up a bit and gave us a sunset I will never ever forget. This definitely was a trip of a lifetime. A few months ago, I would have never dreamed of traveling to the other side of the world, experiencing all these amazing moments. And I'm so thankful for all those amazing people who made this trip an even more unforgettable one. This trip would have not been the same without them. So I guess now it's your time to explore Cape Town.